Now in Good Morning Northwest cities across the country preparing for potential protests as a grand jury weighs possible charges against Donald Trump. He says he'll be arrested and wants his followers to rally. Indeed, our first full day of spring today. It's going to have you smiling. The sun's out. It's going to be great, but it won't last all week. What's coming in? That's coming up. And threatening to cancel sports, resource officers, and mental health help for students. What Coeur d'Alene School District is considering since voters turned down two levies. You're watching Good Morning Northwest here on 4 News Now. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Tuesday, March 21st. Mark here with a look at our first alert forecast. All right, good morning. It is getting crispier outside as temperatures continue to fall. Uh, we're down to 30 into Coeur d'Alene with a clear sky. Um, patchy fog into the West Plains, 32 degrees downtown we're into the mid 30s here the look here's a look at the four things you need to know it's going to be mostly sunny today really going to be a nice day breezy afternoon at times and temps are going to be in the 50s today tomorrow uh, even into thursday but wet coming in for thursday and friday what kind of uh, moisture coming in we'll talk about that in a little bit right now we've got the doppler radar that's showing again light showers active to the south and they're heading out of the region the palouse picked up uh, light rain throughout much of yesterday we did not so we look at what our day is going to be like again mostly sunny with temperatures warming up beautifully and in fact much of the afternoon we'll be into the low 50s with 52 our high all right, Mark, thank you. And we start with breaking news of a silver alert in Spokane. Police say 64-year-old Miguel Garcia was last seen on his way to work near a Vista Stadium on North Havana yesterday around 1 in the afternoon. His family reported him missing when he didn't show up for scheduled events in the evening. Garcia, who currently has a full goatee, is 5'10", weighs about 240 pounds, and was last seen wearing plaid flannel, a white shirt and green pants. He was driving a 2011 Jeep Patriot similar to this picture with a license plate from Washington, BHD 6587. If you have seen him or his vehicle, call Crime Check at this number, 509-456-2233. And some breaking news this morning. Cities across the U.S. are bracing for unrest. Over the weekend, former President Donald Trump claimed without evidence that he could be arrested today and called on his supporters to protest. Sydney Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk with how cities are preparing. The former president's arrest will be historic if it happens, so preparations are underway on Capitol Hill and nationwide. In New York, police are preparing, police are setting up barricades and preparing for Trump's potential possible indictment. According to an international memo shared with CNN, all NYPD officers are expected to be in uniform and ready for deployment today. A live look at New York right now. Yesterday in D.C., the U.S. Capitol Police deployed bike racks near the Capitol building, along with the security fencing, police sent a notice to congressional offices about a, quote, greater law enforcement presence on Capitol Hill. Authorities say they anticipate demonstrations across the country related to the indictment if it happens, but they note that they have not tracked any specific credible threats against the Capitol or state offices. A Manhattan grand jury could officially charge the former president for his alleged role in a hush money payment scheme this week. Trump initially denied knowing about the money, but later said he did. That $130,000 paid to adult film actress Stormy Daniels just before the 2016 election. Prosecutors are investigating whether Trump falsified documents and violated election laws. And yesterday, the grand jury heard from an additional witness, Trump ally Bob Costello. Coming up in 30 minutes, I'll tell you what he had to say. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles. Four News Now. And take a look at this video from the Air One helicopter. A 10 hour search ended on Saturday morning when the Spokane County Search and Rescue crew found a lost hiker in the wilderness near Micah Peak, south of Liberty Lake. That hiker was extremely cold and weak. Without enough space to land, rescuers hoisted him into the helicopter, airlifted him to the Liberty Lake golf course, then drove him to the hospital. He is expected to make a full recovery. The Coeur d'Alene School Board held a special meeting to address a $25 million hole in the budget since voters rejected a levy that makes up 25% of the district's budget. That meeting held in front of a packed room with supporters and opponents of the levy rallying outside. Now, $25 million makes up a full quarter of the school district's budget. And without that funding, the district is poised to look 
and operate a whole lot differently. Superintendent Sean Hawker painted a very bleak outlook, saying that if that money disappears from the budget, major cuts would have to be made across the board. The loss of 25% of our funding is equivalent to closing four and a half schools. This means no school resource officers or campus security officers on our, on our grounds. It means no mental health department. It means reducing our nursing staff down to the very bare minimum and maybe beyond. It means no new curriculum. 300 positions across the district are, stake, are at stake here. Superintendent Hawker believes the added clause to permanently approve future levies is what set the public against this vote. So as a result, the school board voted to reintroduce the $25 million supplemental levy without that perpetuity clause. And this will go before voters on May 16th. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office says it arrested a woman at a traffic stop with nearly 200 fentanyl pills. It happened in the area of Highway 54 and Railroad Street in Athol Sunday evening. Deputies say they saw drug paraphernalia in the woman's car and searched it. They say they seized 181 fentanyl pills. Deputies arrested Tanya Myers of Spokane for drug possession. Good morning, Northwest time is now six minutes after six. All right, we're gonna send things back over to Mark Peterson. Temperatures already creeping up into the 30s. Yeah, we've got those mid 30s downtown, but we've got some mid 20s up in a Deer Park into Mead. 32 at Spokane International again with some light fog there. So pay attention into the West Plains. Could slow you up a little bit on your commute. We're gonna have a full check of the forecast coming up. And the renovations are now complete, so the South Hill Library finally opens today. Coming up, we are showing you all the new amenities here before the grand opening. And a car in the near freezing Ponderé River, an 88-year-old woman unconscious inside. We'll show you what happens next when we come back. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Every Saturday in March. You could shoot baskets for cash. The more baskets you make, the more cash you win. All winners have one minute to make as many baskets as possible. The player with the highest score of the night wins even more cash. Make baskets to earn your share of up to $26,000 cash. More baskets, more cash for you. Earn entries now playing your favorite games with your Sun Club card. Get in the game at Chewila Casino. Northwest Fence is now offering a spring special to make your backyard beautiful with 20% off all white or tan stock vinyl fencing. Just stop by our retail location in the Valley or give us a call. And remember, nobody builds better than Northwest Fence. Plates, plates, plates. There's somehow no better way to travel this place than on a plate. And when you add price drop protection, Expedia pays you back if your flight becomes cheaper. So you can taste your way through every single plate and never wonder if you found a good deal. Because the good deal found you. So you're expecting a baby, right? Yes. Oh, There's a little onesie, and it says their life would suck without you. That's right. That's what we did. Watch Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. BCU is just an incredible community partner. We feel very fortunate to have them on board as we try to help families move forward and be stable and successful. It is so important for both our families and our staff to receive current financial education. What Eric's doing with his classes is basically giving them the knowledge they're going to need to be financially self-reliant. This is not a topic that's typically taught in schools, and yet it is the baseline of access to almost everything that we do. Use me to take a bite out of food waste and help the environment. How'd you do that? Well, give me yard waste, food scraps, heck, even your food soiled paper like pizza boxes, paper towels, and coffee filters. I'll take it to be composted and return to the soil. And we'll still be here for the rest. Learn more at SpokaneCountySolidWaste.org. News Now First Alert Weather app. Download or update it today. Welcome back.
back, let's take a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry says a strike has destroyed Russian cruise missiles in Russian-occupied Crimea as both Ukraine and Russia host world leaders this week. The strike comes as China's Xi Jinping holds talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow and Japanese Prime Minister Fumia Kishida heads to Kyiv for an unexpected meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky. Western allies remain skeptical of any breakthrough over the war in Ukraine, with Washington calling the Chinese leader's visit a diplomatic cover for Moscow. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken calls out Xi's visit, saying it came days after the international community, a criminal court in Hague issued an arrest warrant for Putin. Looming before the Federal Reserve today, whether to continue raising interest rates to fight inflation or take a pause after those recent bank failures. The final call will come tomorrow when the Fed's Open Market Committee wraps up its two-day meeting. Construction on new homes has rebounded after falling for several months in a row. New federal numbers show housing starts in February jumped nearly 10% compared to January. Work on new single-family homes edged up, but construction of condos and apartment buildings leapt by 24%. 611 on a Tuesday, your 10 second takeaway, sunny, uh, very mild today. Temperatures are going to be right there at average. Uh, you'll need light gear this morning. It's a little crisp. Sunglasses throughout the day. High today, 52 degrees. Well, a sheriff's deputy rescued a woman from the Ponderé River over the weekend. Take a look at this new video from the Bonner County Sheriff's Office. Deputies say they were called to the Old Town boat launch on Saturday for a car in the river. Deputy Clevy Santos waded through. 35 degree water and found an 88 year old woman unconscious inside. Deputy Santos pulled her to safety and she was taken to the hospital for treatment. Oh. A couple of great rescues, wow. though, by our local mm -hmm. sheriff's offices. So, yeah, kudos to great them. To see. All right, good morning, Northwest. Time is just about 6.12. All right, what is happening with the cleanup of the train derailment in western Washington that spilled diesel onto soil and groundwater? We'll take a look just ahead. And a live preview of the newly renovated South Hill Library. Destiny Richards is showing us around right after this break. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Gem, Mineral, and Jewelry Show. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. At Washington Trust Bank, can't is a four-letter word. I think I'll sell my veggies at the market. Do you even remember to water the house plants? I do this? You can do this. Hey! We need to build a home office. We We're adding another bathroom. I think I'll study programming. Bro, you even connect your phone to Bluetooth. We believe you can do whatever you set your mind to, and we'll help you get there. Washington Trust Bank. Privately owned. Locally invested. Would you like sparkling or tap? Well, actually... Dad, no. Showtime. We brought our own. Filtered by Culligan's reverse osmosis system. Every time? Like clockwork. Do you guys want... Glasses for that? Yeah. At Culligan, we get that most people don't think about water like we do, and that's okay. See, when we install a drinking water filtration system, we're thinking about filtering up to 60 potentially harmful contaminants, so you can just think about drinking safer, better tasting water. At Culligan, we think about your water, so you don't have to. When Aspen Dental told me that my dentures was ready, I was so excited. I love the confidence. I love that I can blast this beautiful smile and make the world smile with me. I would totally say Aspen Dental changed my life. Aspen Dental makes new smiles affordable. Right now, get 20% off dentures. We do anything to make you smile. Schedule your consultation today. It's here, it's now, the Grand National RV Show. Barnard RV North Spokane is hosting the Grand National RV Show March 23rd through April 1st. Shop over 120 RVs inside the West Coast's largest indoor showroom. Motorhomes, camper vans, fifth wheels, and trailers. The time to buy is now. The Grand National RV Show, March 23rd through April 1st, indoors at RNR RV North Spokane. Special show pricing, giveaways, and food vendors on site. Visit rnrrv.com for more info. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a heat pump with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free heat pump from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. 
All right, welcome back. The South Hill Library finally reopens today. This marks the end of a nearly two-year project to build three new libraries and renovate four existing branches. The Spokane Public Library will have a grand opening ceremony later this morning for the South Hill branch. Our Destiny Richards is live there now with a sneak peek of the new and improved library. Yeah, the South Hill Library has been closed for renovations, but now it is finally open and is the last library that is a part of the Spokane Public Library bond project. And we're here with Alina to talk about that. Tell us about what's new here and just, you know, finally coming to a close with all of that construction that's been going on at the different libraries. Yeah, thank you, Destiny. We've got a lot of new things to look forward to, including two new study rooms, which weren't here before, um, a children's play space called Turkey Tree Tops, um, uh, aptly named for the South Hill turkeys that we all encounter while we're driving up here. Um, and we've got four study pods that are first come, first serve. People can um, pop in and with a friend, they can study, they can read, um, in addition to other updated amenities, new carpet, new lighting, mm -hmm. um, new shelving, all of those things really make it come together into one um, beautiful and magical library. Yeah, and all the libraries, you know, kind of have that same theme and new look now, which is really cool, and they also have their own characters um, as well. The turkey treetops, of course, being the one for the South Hill and different places. Um, tell us about these bags. Speaking yeah. of the South Hill turkeys. So today only, we are going to be selling these bags for $10 cash or check at the grand reopening um, just during the morning time. So the grand reopening is at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll probably be selling these from about 9 to 11 a.m. is my guess. Um, and so if you want one, definitely come on by. $10 cash or check. Um, and it has a fun design of turkey turkeys in front of um, a car, which I'm sure we all know what that experience is like, <laughs> similar to what's on my shirt today. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, um, patrons can come on by and, and pick up a fun new bag to put all their books in. Yeah, and there's really so much here. You have to come see it and experience it for yourself in person. Everything from the play space to the study rooms to the computer stations. Coming up, we're going to be talking about the study pods, which is another really unique feature here at the South Hill Library. But we're reporting live at the South Hill Library, Destiny Richards, for News Now. I saw pictures online of those study pods. They're really They're funky looking. They're really yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful mm -hmm. sunrise. Gorgeous. Look at that orange. Ah, gorgeous. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty nice day and visibility concern in some places. That's looking to the east and it's crisp and clear it looking is, to the yes. west. West, a little bit different. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we do have some fog, some of that dense in places uh, uh, looking at areas, say, Reardon and Davenport along too. As you head west, you're going to see some fog there as well along I-90. So it's just going to take some time. Pictures, back that up. Again, we do have some fog that's out there, I-90 and Geiger. So again, just allowing for more time, more space, you get it. 195 and Hatch looking pretty good. No fog there. So today, burning off the fog, we're going to have sunshine, 52 degrees. I know it's crazy to think that, but it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, wind's going to be light, maybe some breezy conditions this afternoon. Tonight, <clears throat> temperatures down to 30. We're going to see the potential for, I guess, some patchy morning fog again tomorrow morning, but certainly that opportunity for some frost on the windshields tomorrow. I know it's spring, but still, uh, 33 is an average overnight low, and we have temperatures uh, during the day uh, hovering into the low 50s, about 50 degrees. Right now, we're sitting at 32 at Spokane International, 31 into the valley, Liberty Lake 31, so we've cooled a little bit with that clear sky. Coeur d'Alene, you're at 31 as well, so yeah, some layers out there. I mean, Deer Park, 25 degrees. That goes all the way down to Mead. We look at satellite and radar, and yeah, we've got the clear skies, and everything is pushing south. We do have another system that's coming ashore into California. That's going to have flooding potential with more snow into the Sierras and the higher elevations, but plenty of rain coming in. Now, they need it. The problem is they're getting too much of it. For us, now, we were forecasting some light rain yesterday. It stayed to the south, and it will continue to push south, and we're going to see things dry out. The Palouse again has that light rain throughout much of the day now into the LC Valley and then by um, this afternoon everybody should be high and dry throughout our region clearing skies absolutely a gorgeous setup for Wednesday tomorrow midweek mid 50s beautiful now as we get into what we can expect for 
Thursday. So we start to see this next system come in. All right, that's going to be Cascades, going to be some snow into Snoqualmie Pass or rain snow mixed. It's going to work its way through the day Thursday, and then Thursday into Friday, we see the change. Now, our highs day into the mid-50s. Really going to be a nice day. Temperatures, well, you're going to have upper 50s, Spokane Valley. Cheneyer at 54 degrees. We'll see that up into Deer Park as well. The planning forecast, well, 55 on Wednesday and sunny. Some showers coming in on Thursday. That's going to be afternoon, evening, transitioning to the potential of some light snow for Friday morning and only warming to 45. So that's what we're tracking is some winter weather coming in, certainly for the mountains, which would be great news because ski season in some areas starting to wrap over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. They mm. would love to have some fresh snow for, say, Derek Dice to go snowboarding <laughs> or for you to go snowshoeing yeah, cool. and, and get some fresh snow up there. So that would be good news for them. Mm. Some people don't want to talk about it at all. No, they don't. I'd say the majority <laughs> don't. Okay. I'd do it again at least one more time. <laughs> it's now 620 and Interchange in Cord Lane hasn't been updated since it was built more than 60 years ago. Yeah, what to expect from the open house the Transportation Department is holding today over the increased congestion around that interchange after the break on Good Morning Northwest. Download the 4 News Now app today. Satay Bistro, Coeur d'Alene's culinary extravaganza of American fusion dining. From our extensive wine cellar to our unforgettably decadent menu, we'll move your experience beyond ordinary to the extraordinary. Satay Bistro, just off the 4th Street exit in Coeur d'Alene. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories. Create traditions. Share stories. Find the fun. Embrace the surprises. And celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home. In every room. In every moment. Make your house feel like home. At the Tin Roof. At Gold Seal Plumbing, we're always looking at better ways to solve plumbing issues in your home. That's why we use the latest technology in sewer line repair called Trenchless Sewer Repair. We can replace your current sewer line without digging up your entire yard. With just a couple of holes on the ground, we can pull new sewer pipe from the main line right into your house with minimal disruption to your lawn and your wallet. So if you need your sewer line repaired or replaced, call the best. Call Gold Seal Plumbing. We're on our way. At Just Between Friends, you'll find everything you need for your family. It's all here. I've been shopping in JBF since my kids were little, and we just love it. It's the one-stop shop for everything that you need for your kids and your grandkids. I'm a first-time mom. I got a lot of clothing, shoes. I got a changing table. It's been a lot of fun. Such a blessing to be able to shop, sell, and save at JBF. This has been a game-changer for our family. Just Between Friends at the Spokane Fair and Expo Center. At Big Bay Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows, we're the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. That puts Big Bay Brothers in the top 1% of our profession. At Big Bay Brothers, we're working for you. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move. Let's go! With a new gym opening soon in Spokane and a variety of fun classes starting now, there's never been a better time to join. Weather alert days on 4 News Now. That means weather that could be a threat to your family's safety. The first alert weather team pinpoints the most impactful and dangerous days, warning you early on air and online. Weather alert days, another way we're keeping you safe on 4 News Now. It is now 623. Crews are replacing diesel contaminated dirt and repairing the railroad bed where a train derailed on the Swinomish Reservation Thursday. Crews have removed about 2,100 cubic yards of contaminated soil and fewer than 50 gallons of diesel fuel from groundwater. The EPA says this incident was a learning experience for all responding agencies. I think we dodged a bullet here. This was it, this could have been much, much worse. This could have been a disaster. There could have been a number of trains filled with petroleum product that, that um, spilled. 
The railroad company, BNSF, is footing the bill for cleanup. Investigators are still looking into what caused the two engines to derail. Idaho will spend an additional $125 million to expand broadband internet access as part of Governor Little, Governor Brad Little's Idaho First program. Little released a statement saying, in a data-driven society, connectivity is imperative for a strong economy. Improved broadband infrastructure means both urban and rural Idaho will be connected and well-positioned to attract business and enhance our citizens' quality of life. The governor says improved broadband helps student learning, telehealth and work from home opportunities in more parts of the state. The Idaho Transportation Department is holding an open house today to discuss plans to redesign Coeur d'Alene's 15th Street and I-90 interchange. It's happening from 4 to 7 at Coeur d'Alene Fire Station number 3. 4 News Now first told you about these plans last week. There is concern over the congestion in the neighborhoods as the Lake City grows and more traffic is using that interchange. That hasn't been updated since it was built in 1960. It's the first full day of spring, which means sunshine, warmer weather, and of course, spring break. If you are looking to travel with your family, plan ahead and bring some extra cash. A new forecast shows spring break 2023 may be the busiest travel season ever for the airline industry. Expect longer lines at airports and big crowds at popular attractions. I think you're seeing a renormalization of travel in 2023, both for spring break and beyond. If you still have not booked, here is one tip to find a spring break deal. If you live near a city that has a different spring break schedule than your kids, consider booking flights from there instead. In Gonzaga's fast break to Houston covers, the Zags are moving on to the Sweet 16 for the eighth straight year after a big win against Texas Christian in the second round of the NCAA tournament on Sunday. Next up, the Zags will take on UCLA in Las Vegas on Thursday. Make sure you download the KXY Plus app to access exclusive content on the NCAA tournament from the 4 News Now sports team who is headed to Vegas later today. My Final Four is a mess. I only have one team in my Final Four is still alive. That's I get Texas. The, get the feeling that you're among the majority. Yeah, there's a lot of people with broken <laughs> brackets, that's for sure. All right, it is now 626. Before we head to a break, here's your first look. It was coming up on GMA starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, new details on the dentist accused of poisoning his wife. My heart is broken for those children. They've lost a mother. And my heart goes out to them and the staff. I, I just can't believe it. Overnight, one of his former patients speaking to GMA. When I heard the story again, it was not indicative of his personality. That was not the Dr. Craig that I know. Right now, I just want everything for the community is to get behind this staff, to get behind this community, and let justice play it out. Police calling Angela Craig's death heinous, complex, and calculated, alleging James purchased arsenic and cyanide and secretly poisoned her protein shakes. And we'll have much more on this developing investigation coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles. Suffering from sinus congestion, especially at night? Try Vix Sinex for instant relief that lasts up to 12 hours. Vix Sinex targets congestion at the source, relieving nasal congestion and sinus pressure by reducing swelling in the sinuses. Try Vix Sinex. Stainless steam cleans your whole home. All you gotta do is pick up the phone. It's not just carpet anymore. It's tile, wood, stone, really any floor. Call 1-800-STEAMER now. We'll clean your home and you'll say, wow. Find your beat, your moment of calm. Find your potential, then own it. Support your immune system with a potent blend of nutrients and emerge your best every day with emergency. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Non-drowsy Claritin D knocks out your worst allergy symptoms, including nasal congestion, without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Claritin D. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Save your green and Jennifer's on sale service. 
Here's the latest expansion news from Spokane Tribe Casino. Check out the expanded Caesar Sportsbook, now the largest in the area. With even more room, more betting options than before, and a buddy bar with bar top games. Plus, be on the lookout for the all-new smoke-free gaming area, also coming soon. Grab your lucky charm and play Rainbow of Riches every Thursday for your chance to win up to $1,000 in cash or free play. Only at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. Get pampered, relax, invigorate, and rejuvenate. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa's new North Spokane location is a full-service salon that specializes in achieving this every day. Guests enjoy a complimentary drink with all services, including hair, nails, spa, microblading, full bridal, and more. Our 10,000-square-foot spa, one of the largest in the Northwest, accommodates large groups, and walk-ins are welcome, too. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa, a luxury experience accommodating everyone. No matter where you are in your financial journey, we're here to help you along the way. Open a free Ascend checking account and you can earn 3.50% APY on balances up to $15,000 with no minimum balance required. Bring your finances to new heights with our checking that pays you dividends. Get your account today at p1fcu.org slash Ascend. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. All right, the 4 News Now story tracker following the stories people are reading about online this morning. A drug-resistant and potentially deadly fungus is spreading fast in U.S. healthcare facilities. Clinical cases of Candida auris uh, nearly doubled in 2021. According to the CDC, there was also a tripling of the number of cases resistant to a first-line treatment for it. Cases of the fungus were initially confined to the New York City and Chicago areas. They have now spread to more than half of U.S. states. French President Emmanuel Macron's government survived two no-confidence votes, clearing his way for the hugely unpopular pension reforms to be implemented. The first motion received 278 votes, just nine votes short of the 287 majority needed to pass. The government triggered, triggered special constitutional powers last Thursday to push through the controversial legislation to raise the age of retirement for most workers from 62 to 64, sparking a wave of protests and strikes across the country. And a silver alert this morning. Police say 64-year-old Miguel Garcia was last seen on his way to work near Vista Stadium on North Havana yesterday around 1 o'clock. His family reported him missing when he didn't show up for scheduled events in the evening. Kurt Garcia, who currently has a full goatee, is about 5'10", and weighing about 140 pounds, was last seen wearing plaid flannel, a white shirt, and green pants. He was driving a Jeep Patriot 2011, similar to this picture, with a Washington license plate BHD6587. If you've seen him or that vehicle, call Crime Check 509-456-2233. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Derek Dice. It is Tuesday, March the 21st, the first full day of spring. Mark Peterson is here with a forecast that's going to feel like it. Yeah, starting off with a clear sky. we got a beautiful sunrise underway, but it's chilly. Coeur d'Alene, you're at 30. We're at 32 degrees taking a look downtown not bad you go over to the west plains and there is fog out there here's four things you need to know it's going to be mostly sunny day really going to be a nice day breezy afternoon so that light jacket you need this morning might need it then temperatures in the 50s not only today but all the way through thursday but wet weather coming in on thursday into friday and it'll take a couple of different forms we'll talk about that visibility yeah down and limited into the west plains it's looking like it's a little better now but uh, again just be aware of that if you live in that area and you're coming in or leaving and heading that direction. We look at the next 12 hours and it's going to be sunshine for the most part. Temperatures uh, warming up into the mid 30s and then we're going to be in the low 40s as we enter the noon hour. It's going to be the upper 40s and low 50s throughout much of the afternoon with 52 the high. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has signaled it is closing in on a decision of whether to indict former President Donald Trump. If he's indicted, it would be the first criminal case ever brought against a former U.S. president. Cindy Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk with details on who's been involved in this investigation so far, Sydney. That's right. Robert Costello testified before a grand jury yesterday in the matter of whether former President Donald Trump paid hush money to Stormy Daniels. Costello is an attorney who has, at various times, 
Representative Steve Bannon, Rudy Giuliani, and Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen. Cohen has admitted to helping arrange Daniels' payment at Trump's direction and pleaded guilty to campaign finance violations. But Costello says that's not what he told him. Listen to this. The heart of it is that Michael Cohen told us that he was approached by Stormy Daniels' lawyer and Stormy Daniels had negative information that she wanted to put in a lawsuit against Trump. So Michael Cohen decided on his own, that's what he told us, on his own to see if he could take care of this. Costello also called Cohen, quote, totally unreliable. Costello claims to have provided more than 300 emails and notes proving his claims. He alleges the Manhattan District Attorney is purposely not showing all that evidence to the grand jury. So far, Trump's spokesman has said he has not been notified about an imminent arrest and no comment yet from Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Bragg telling his staff, we do not tolerate attempts to intimidate or our office or threaten the rule of law in New York. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Some expectant mothers in North Idaho are worried about delivering their babies since learning that Bonner General will close its labor and delivery department in May. Yeah, in a statement, the hospital says it came to this decision because it's unable to recruit and retain staff following the overturn of Roe versus Wade and that, quote, highly respected, talented physicians are leaving. In addition, the Idaho legislature continues to introduce and pass bills that criminalize physicians for medical care nationally recognized as the standard of care. Leandra Wright is due in August. She lives in Sagal, which is just about 10 minutes away from Bonner General in Sandpoint. But now she's planning to have her baby delivered in Coeur d'Alene, which is almost an hour away. If I don't have a choice, I don't have a choice. I don't know what, what other option I have. They're, they're going to suggest people to me that I can start care with down there. Bonner General says it's working to coordinate care for women who are set to give birth after May. The Vice President of Public Affairs for Planned Parenthood of Greater Washington and North Idaho is now running for Spokane City Council. Paul Dillon is running for a seat in District 2, currently held by Betsy Wilkerson and Lori Kinnear. In Dillon's announcement, he says he is stepping away from his current position due to potential conflicts of interest. He says he will continue to work for Planned Parenthood in an educator role instead while he runs for council. Dillon has helped with policies and initiatives in Spokane for more than a decade, including legalizing domestic partnership benefits, expanding bus service in Spokane, and an abortion access resolution. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6.36. Mark is making his way back <laughs> here. He's busy tweaking things. <laughs> Doing things, I don't know, whatever it is you're doing back there. Just trying to get ready for spring. Uh, okay. Looking at okay. yesterday, we had the clouds. We didn't get the rain showers. They were south of us, but our day today will look the opposite of that. We're going to have a full check of the... Oh, look, there it is now. It's a beautiful oh, sunrise. Lovely. Clear skies. It is cool. Your forecast coming up. For News Now, on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I really have an appreciation for furniture, and I like preserving history. That's really neat to see the team work together to bring a piece back to what it was originally. Every Saturday in March, you can shoot baskets for cash. The more baskets you make, the more cash you win. All winners have one minute to make as many baskets as possible. The player with the highest score of the night wins even more cash. Make baskets to earn your share of up to $26,000 cash. More baskets, more cash for you. Earn entries now playing your favorite games with your Sun Club card. Get in the game at Chihuahua Casino. Let's take a test drive of this rugged Nissan Frontier, redesigned inside and out. There's plenty of power so you can take it anywhere, thanks to an upgraded suspension, steering system, and powertrain. The cabin has improved too with a new seat design, larger storage compartments, and a big touchscreen that's smartphone compatible. If you weren't interested in a Nissan Frontier in the past, it's time to reevaluate. Test drive one at the new Coeur d'Alene Nissan. Fortune's Community Day event is on Friday, March 24th. For only $20, you can purchase a day skiing pass. All the proceeds go to Community Cancer Services. CCS provides support for people in our community who are afflicted with cancer. And it's had an incredible impact on my life. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move. Let's go! With New Year resolutions. 
nutrition goals in full swing and a new gym opening soon in Spokane, there's never been a better time to join the number one voted best gyms. And jump, spin, swim, and work out to be the best you can be in 2023. Move Fitness. Northwest Fence is now offering a spring special to make your backyard beautiful with 20% off all white or tan stock vinyl fencing. Just stop by our retail location in the Valley or give us a call. And remember, nobody builds better than Northwest Fence. I really have an appreciation for furniture and I like preserving history. That's really neat to see the team work together to bring a piece back to what it was originally. It is 639. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. An American aid worker who was held hostage for the past six years in West Africa is free this morning. Now, President Biden's National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, made the announcement on Twitter yesterday. Terrorists kidnapped Jeff Woodkey from his home in Niger in 2016. The West African country helped facilitate Woodkey's release. A senior administration official says the U.S. did not pay any ransom. Woodkey is now being offered support and transportation to wherever he wants to go. More job cuts are on the way at Amazon. In a note to employees, CEO Andy Jassy says the company plans on eliminating an additional 9,000 positions in the next few weeks. That's on top of the 18,000 job cuts that were announced a few months ago. A union representing 30,000 L.A. school custodians, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, and other support staff will start a three-day strike today, effectively stopping classes for more than half a million students in the nation's second largest school district. Negotiations for a new contract have been going on for a year in Los Angeles, and last-minute negotiations failed. The union is demanding a 30% pay raise plus $2 an hour over the next four years, as well as more hours for part-time workers. Ted Lasso and President Joe Biden are teaming up to, as the television football coach would say, believe in the importance of mental health. Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden hosted actor Jason Sudeikis and other members of the cast of Ted Lasso at the White House yesterday for a conversation on mental health. Sudeikis said President Biden and his team were working on making sure Americans know about the options that are available to help with mental health. And the White House press secretary said it was a cornerstone of Biden's unity agenda. All right, good morning, everybody. 10-second takeaway before you now. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be a mild day. We've been talking about it, but it is a chilly start. So grab your light weather gear and your sunglasses. You'll need them. Our high today, though, 52. A spoonful of beer while fighting climate change. It's not a pipe or a beer dream. A brewery in eastern Germany has developed a beer in powdered form. Just take your lager or Pilsner powder, mix it in water, and you have your home-brewed pint. The brewery says the powder beer makes heavy bottles, crates, and kegs obsolete, reducing the heavy carbon footprint of beer transportation. The shot of it in the glass looked like there were bubbles in it, but yeah. I'm just wondering how you get the carbonation in. And how does it stay? Like, I mean, if it's like an Alka-Seltzer type of thing... How does it stay yeah, I don't carbonated? Know. Uh, fascinating. It's now 642. All right, Destiny Richards is live at the newly renovated South Hill Library branch. Yeah, we're checking out these really cool study pods that you can only find here at the South Hill Library. That's coming up. Download the 4 News Now app today. Alabama Roll On North America Tour, presented by Kenworth. July 6th, Spokane Arena. With very special guest, the Marshall Tucker Band. Alabama, live. All your favorite songs from the greatest country band of all time. Roll on, daddy, till you get back home. On sale now at ticketswest.com. Produced by Outback Presents. It's buy one, get one month here at Mainstream. That's right, get a free furnace when you purchase an air conditioning unit. We'll even throw in a complete heating and cooling system check. Let us provide your family with comfort and happiness this spring. Call or visit Mainstream to find out more. She was looking so fine. Five, five, thinking that's five. Everybody. Where's the butler? 
It's John Butler. Hate being judged by your name? So do we. At Consign Furniture and Jewelry, we're not what you think. Our inventory is the best in the Northwest. Like this. And this. And this. Check out the most unique shopping experience in the universe. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. During our spring tire sale, we watch out for your wallet, too. Save up to $250 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires. Here's the latest expansion news from Spokane Tribe Casino. Check out the expanded Caesar Sportsbook, now the largest in the area. With even more room, more betting options than before, and a buddy bar with bar top games. Plus, be on the lookout for the all-new smoke-free gaming area, also coming soon. Grab your lucky charm and play Rainbow of Riches every Thursday for your chance to win up to $1,000 in cash or free play. Only at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. At Big Bay Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows, we're the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. That puts Big Bay Brothers in the top 1% of our profession. At Big Bay Brothers, we're working for you. Ford News Now is brought to you by Mechanics Pride. It's now quarter till seven. The newly renovated South Hill Library is finally ready for reopening. It's the last Spokane Public Library upgrade with new study rooms, computer stations, and that South Hill turkey themed children's play space we showed you earlier. Destin Richards is live at that South Hill Library and I think we're showing off those new study areas now, right? That's right. There's lots of different places to study, to sit down, to read a book here at the South Hill Library, but this is by far the coolest place here. These study pods, and we're sitting with Alina in here. There's four of these study pods here. Yep, four of the study pods, and they're first come, first serve. So if you want to bring a friend, grab a coffee, um, come on in, read a book, study, um, these are available, um, and you don't even have to check it out. You just show up and hang out. Yeah, and it kind of feels almost soundproof, like it's much yeah. quieter in here. Yes, totally. And these are dry erase boards, yes. which are really cool. So if you're in here and want to put some notes on the board, if you're with another mm -hmm. person, very cool feature. Yeah, absolutely. And um, we've got a nice little light, so it's really bright in here. And um, like you said, soundproof. So it's just another quieter opportunity uh, to um, enjoy the library in a little bit of a quieter setting. Yeah, absolutely. And again, there's two study rooms that are here. There's event space and, of course, that turkey-themed play space. You can see all the information on our website, kxy.com, and the grand reopening. You can get a look at all of this before the um, the official opening of the library. Cause it's going to be open, obviously, seven days a week. But if you want to see it before everyone else, come today at 9 a.m. for the ribbon cutting. Going to have some speakers here. It'll be a good time. I'll send it back to you guys. The study pods look like it's like your own little fort it does in the library, look like right? That. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, a beautiful sunrise we have going on right now. Look at that. Mm, lovely. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty good day, Mark. That is what we're gonna be seeing. That clear sky. It's gonna be hanging out over the top of us. It's gonna be nice. Sunglasses for everybody. But oh, it's a little chilly. We've been tracking fog now into the West Plains, and as we head out, we're starting to see that break off a little bit and improve. So we take a look at what we've got with our uh, cameras along I-90, and indeed we do see a better condition with just light fog at I-90 and Geiger, but now 195 and Hatch has some fog in it. So hey, just really, it's on the move. Take it easy. Allow for a little extra time. Today, sunny, 52. Allow time to just enjoy the sunshine. A little vitamin D would be great after that cloud cover yesterday. Now tonight, it's going to be clear and cold. Maybe a little frost in the uh, on the windshields tomorrow morning if you park outside. Winds are going to be relatively light. And then for right now, we have temperatures that are cool. Uh, 25 Deer Park, me you got a clear sky, but again, wear those jackets. Low 30s. Now, we were at 36, 37 degrees. Now, 31 uh, into the valley, 33 downtown. As we look at what we can expect, uh, it's going to be a continuation of a clearing sky for us. That energy continues to dive south out of the area. So we look at the forecast radar. Now, Pullman getting some very light showers right now. That's going to end in the next half hour. They're going to clear out later on. 
overnight a clear sky and getting cold. And then we see what uh, through Wednesday, 6 a.m. looking great. We get through Wednesday, 6 p.m. looking great. It is what happens on Thursday. We see this next system coming in early in the morning. So I-90, Snoqualmie Pass, rain or rain snow mix tomorrow morning. But that will make its way to us. And that will bring about that potential for rain changing over to some snow on Friday morning. All right, certainly more into the higher elevations. Our highs today are going to be in the mid to upper 50s as we go into the valley downtown all the way across into Coeur d'Alene. You're going to have 52 officially into the West Plains. We'll have 52 as well. Planning forecast, planning on warmer weather for tomorrow. Sunny in 55, Thursday 50, and then 45 Friday with that chance of snow in the morning. Light snow, rain snow mix later on as we warm up over the weekend mid 40s and then another round of rain showers potential Monday with 48 degrees. Really not looking too bad. We look at that temperature trend and we're going to be above average to then just below average all the way through the weekend still it is warming but it's friday morning we're tracking uh, again that potential for some snow and rain snow mixed yeah it's it's always a little bit iffy right in spokane into mm -hmm. april and even may or for the last so. six months <laughs> <laughs> definitely it is now 10 minutes before the hour all right your morning sprint is coming up next don't go away stream four news now on your tv for free with the kxly plus app for News Now is brought to you by Granite Concepts of Lewiston. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday! Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $12, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Higher education. It's a call to challenge yourself to embrace a future better prepared for success. A test of your ability to reach further, to know more and do more, to understand yourself and our world better. An opportunity to grow your potential, to make a difference in your life and in the lives of others. This is the path that leads to Idaho's public colleges and universities. Your success means Idaho's success. Get pampered, relax, invigorate, and rejuvenate. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa's new North Spokane location is a full-service salon that specializes in achieving this every day. Guests enjoy a complimentary drink with all services, including hair, nails, spa, microblading, full bridal, and more. Our 10,000-square-foot spa, one of the largest in the Northwest, accommodates large groups, and walk-ins are welcome, too. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa, a luxury experience accommodating everyone. Get Buick luxury and style with the dynamic 2022 Buick Encore featuring premium LED lighting, game-changing cargo space, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, advanced safety technologies, and more. Make the Encore yours and lease it for just $287 a month. Visit us online at Gee Buick GMC or come see us for a test drive. We're just off I-90 at George Gee Buick GMC, the top volume GMC Buick dealer in Washington State. My name is Jennifer and this is my Summit Cancer Center story. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in November of 2015. Getting a cancer diagnosis is literally like having the rug pulled out from underneath you. When I'm at Summit Cancer Centers, I feel like they're kind of part of my family in a sense. They've always had my best interests in mind, so I'm actually very hopeful for the future. I would recommend Summit Cancer Center. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time double bacon cheddar pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Nacho cheddar cheese sauce, crispy bacon, Canadian bacon? Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. All right, 6.53 is your time. Let's get you up to speed here on your Tuesday in the Morning Sprint. Mark talking about a mild and sunny forecast today. Desi Richards live with a look at the newly renovated South Hill Library branch. But former President Donald Trump says he could be arrested today. Let's start with that in Sydney Charles. Breaking down the details. 
That's right, a Manhattan grand jury could officially charge Donald Trump for his alleged role in a hush money payment scheme this week. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, admitted to paying $130,000 at Trump's direction to adult film actress Stormy Daniels just before the 2016 election. Over the weekend, former President Donald Trump claimed that he could be arrested in connection to that scheme and called on supporters to protest. So, officials in New York and Washington, D.C. are preparing. Police in New York are setting up barricades and yesterday Yesterday in D.C., the U.S. Capitol Police deployed bike racks near the Capitol building. The latest on the investigation into the former president is coming up next on Good Morning America. Breaking news of a silver alert in Spokane. Police say this man, 64-year-old Miguel Garcia, was last seen on his way to work around 1 o'clock in the afternoon near a Vista Stadium on North Havana. His family reported him missing when he didn't show up for some scheduled events in the evening. He was currently, uh, currently he has a full goatee, is 5'10", about 240. He was last seen wearing plaid flannel, a white shirt and green pants. Mr. Garcia was driving a 2011 Jeep Patriot, similar to this picture with a Washington license plate BHD 6587. If you've seen him or his vehicle, call Crime Check 509-456-2233. Uh, good morning, everyone. Our first alert weather, we've been tracking fog into the West Plains and it continues to ebb and flow through the area. Right now we see it uh, again more dense onto Highway 2 and I-90 as you head westbound and again south on 195. So take it easy. Over the next 12 hours, we're going to have sunshine. The fog will burn off. It's going to be a gorgeous day with a high of 52. The Coeur d'Alene School Board held a special meeting to address that $25 million hole in the budget since voters rejected a levy that makes up 25% of the district's budget. Superintendent Sean Hawker believes the added clause to permanently approve future levies is what set the public against this vote. So as a result, the school board voted to reintroduce the $25 million supplemental levy without the perpetuity clause. This will go before voters on May 16th. The Vice President of Public Affairs for Planned Parenthood of Greater Washington and North Idaho is now running for Spokane City Council. Paul Dillon is running for a seat in District 2, currently held by Betsy Wilkerson and Lori Kinnear. In Dillon's announcement, he says he is stepping away from his current position due to potential conflicts of interest. He says he will continue to work for Planned Parenthood in an educator role instead while he runs for City Council. And this morning we have been live at the South Hill Library talking all about everything that is new here. It has just been newly renovated and upgraded to have these study rooms. They also have a lot of seated space here, a turkey themed play space as well. So this is the end. This is all of the library construction come to an end. And go to our website kxy.com for a look at all of the new libraries, all of their updated amenities, and for more information about the Grand Reopening opening of the South Hill Library today. The bill that would allow parents to sue libraries and school districts for having books considered obscene is one step closer to becoming law, passing the House 40 to 30. If approved, this law would open schools and libraries to civil lawsuits. The penalty would be $10,000 in damages each time the material is accessed. The bill would still need to make it out of the Senate before it could head to Governor Little's desk. Crews are replacing diesel contaminated dirt and repairing the railroad bed where a train derailed on the Swinomous Reservation Thursday. Crews have removed about 2,100 cubic yards of contaminated soil and fewer than 50 gallons of diesel fuel from groundwater. The EPA says this incident was a learning experience for all responding agencies. A sheriff's deputy rescued a woman from the Ponderay River over the weekend. Take a look at this video from the Bonner County Sheriff's Office. Deputies say they were called to the Old Town Boat Launch Saturday for a car in the river. Deputy Clevy Santos waded through 35 degree water and found an 88 year, 88 year old woman unconscious inside. Deputy Santos pulled her to safety. She was taken to a hospital for treatment. The Idaho Transportation Department is holding an open house today to discuss plans to redesign Coeur d'Alene's 15th Street and I-90 interchange. It's happening today from 4 to 7 at the Coeur d'Alene Fire Station number 3. There is concern over the congestion of the neighborhoods as the Lake City grows and more traffic is using that interchange. It hasn't been updated since it was built in 19... For News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. New America believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. 
the account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield. That could earn you up to $500 every year or more. ABC's World News Tonight. And 4 News Now. When the local story is national news. When national stories hit home. Watch ABC World News Tonight at 5.30. And 4 News Now at 6. That's what we mean when we say expect more. If you're looking for a great career where you can spend time outdoors and make good money with an amazing team, then check out the Northwest Fence School of Fence. We will train individuals to specialize in chain link, privacy vinyl, ornamental iron, and wood fence installation. Our one-month school will assist you in understanding the basic principles of fence installation. Seize the opportunity to join our team and train to be a fence professional. Our classes are enrolling now, so contact Northwest Fence today for more information. Northwest Fence. Nobody builds them better. Well, today is starting off uh, fairly clear. Chris, no doubt about it. We're sitting at 32 degrees, but the sun is up and absolutely amazing. Going to be a great day today. We're going to see that sun burn off that fog that's into the West Plains right now. Um, we are going to track sunshine today, warming to 52 degrees. Uh, that is just a touch above average. Look for 55 for Wednesday. Going to be great tomorrow morning. Oh, 30 degrees, so yeah, it could be a little frosty. And then on Thursday, we see 50 with the increased clouds and chance of showers for the afternoon, evening, and the potential for some light snow Friday morning, high of 45 Friday. Okay. Yes, he said snow, but we're going to get no, through no, it. No, 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 I don't hear it. I don't hear it. We'll see it throughout GMA.